Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my new video. Now, before I start this tutorial, I'm just going to do a quick shout-out message. And uh, I don't do these often, but yeah. If you go to my page and scroll down, now I've also been getting some people asking why all of my subscribers are women. And I don't know. But keep going down past there and go to Ironclad Buffalo. He's the fourth one down. Now, he's got six subscribers, and he's only started his channel, like, three days ago and he's got six videos already if you like Halo Reach or you like gaming I definitely check out this channel he's got like pretty funny videos about all uh, things that have happened in Halo Reach that he's recorded and um, definitely hit him up with a subscribe and you know give him some love and also check out his channels that he said you should check out some good stuff might be happening there. But anyway, back onto the tutorial. Now, I've been getting a lot of people asking me how I make my intros with the camera flying around and stuff. And before I start, I'm just going to say that's really easy to do. So let's jump right into it. Go composition, new composition. And we'll just call this tutorial intro one. It means it's my first attempt. So if we just go 1280 by 720, and if you're making this for YouTube, I'd recommend that at least, or 1920 by 1080 if you want to get real funky, and 25 frames per second, and 20 seconds. So if we click OK, our composition box will pop up here, and, well, you know, it's not really a box, but moving on. First thing we need to do is make our background, so let's go lay a new solid. And we'll call this background, it's a really good habit to get into to name your layers. If we make this comp size, it'll fix everything up and make it good. And it doesn't matter about the color because we're going to change it here. If we go to our effects and presets and type in ramp, drag that in. Uh, you, you might be after a linear one or a radial ramp, which is circular. But you know, up to you, it doesn't really matter. And I just normally choose light colors, so say gray and white, or silver and white. Just going for the more professional look over craziness. And that's pretty good so far. So now we've got to add our first text. So say if we want infused media. I always use this text too, and it's bank gothic if you want that. Uh, don't ask me for download links for anything in this tutorial because, you know, you can sort that out yourself. If we hit the button down here and tick title action safe, we can perfectly center our text. And then we can turn that back off. And I'm pretty happy with that, but let's keep adding to it. So if we go to effects and presets, we can type in glow. And I'm just showing you some cool things you can do with your intro. And now we apply that to our text and not our background. And it just pretty much adds a nice little glowing effect. You can change your colors, whatever. I'm just going to leave it like that because I can. And let's make some particles. That's another big thing I do. So lay a new solid. We'll call this particles. Again, name your layers. Comp size, OK. And in the effects and presets, we'll type in CC Particle World. Now, this comes with most After Effects. After Effects, yeah. Moving on. If you don't have it, again, I'm not going to supply anyone with it. Okay, so we want to change a few settings in here, mainly the radius, because if we've got a camera going around, we want our particles to be in the frame wherever we go to. So I normally make it about 3 to 5 because my camera movements are really big but you know it's going to be smaller for this one and we want to drag that below our text so we don't have particles flying in front of our text and now we want to go to the particle and change it from line to lens convex it's just these nice little spheres and just this thing's getting better by the second let's go to physics uh, velocity will change that right down and gravity to 0 0.001 just so they slightly fall but not much and that's all pretty good as you can see they're like flashing everywhere popping up really fast so if we change the longevity to say 20 ish they stay there for the whole composition and now we want to change the birth rate so it's not that many and yeah you know 
we're getting there. Also, if you at the start they start emitting at zero seconds, but if we get our layer and drag it back, like I'm doing now, and extending it, they're fully emitted by zero seconds. So that's just a good way to, you know, not have to wait for the particles to fade in. And we'll change the birth size, death size, just because I don't like big particles. And there we go. It's looking pretty good. Make sure you save it. It's good. And get in the habit of saving in case it crashes. Could if you're working on something big, won't make you a happy chappy. So now we'll go to a glow again and apply this to our particles. Okay, so um, now we want to get the camera movements in and make it all look fancy. So press F4, toggle the switches down there, and make sure you tick 3D. That's the 3D thing. So we make our text 3D. Our particles are already 3D because if you look up here, 3D. So we don't need to do that. Now we want to go layer new camera. And it's all pretty good. Doesn't really matter. And now if you press C or go up here, you can bring up your camera controls and you can orbit around. You can see how it's in 3D space. So there's particles everywhere, there's your text and it's all turning out pretty good okay so now um, you don't have to do this but I find it easier get a null object press return to rename it and call it camera position make this a 3D layer and then get your camera go to the parent which is a spiral and parent it parent your camera to the 3D null object so what we just did was you can bring up position and rotation by pressing P and then holding shift and pressing R to bring up both and then we can change these for the null object and it affects the camera it's just easier than moving a camera in my opinion if you don't want to do that you don't have to but you know yep so now what we want to do is make another text instead of just making it all again we can just duplicate our current one and we'll call this tutorial and then uh, since they're 3D layers we got the Z axis here which we can just click and push back and if you hold shift it speeds it up a bit and we'll just put that up there and then just for the hell of it we'll rotate at 90 degrees yep so what we're gonna do now is animate the camera from here up to there so what we need to do is animate the position obviously and the Z rotation so we want to go back to the start so two seconds in and move them to there and then we'll say one second for the camera movement so we'll go to three seconds and we'll move this just play with your slider controls here and go right up to your text it's good that's good and 90 degrees because we rotated at 90 degrees and then you can just keep playing around with it and that's pretty good uh, there we go just do it to there and now if we highlight our keyframes you can press F9 and it'll smooth them out or you can just right click go keyframe assistant easy ease and that just makes the movements a lot smoother so now if we watch our video we can go through and the camera just rotates and that's pretty much it so now you just redo that for every single text that you want to do and you've pretty much got an intro and that's all I really do for mine and then you can just add some more effects in as you go like lens flares, pictures, videos different colors that's very plain looking but that's the basics so if you like this please subscribe, thumbs up this video Remember to check out that other channel I said and subscribe. If I didn't say that, I think I did. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.